Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla China is aiming to produce 71,000 vehicles this June, reports suggest. Tesla Autopilot probe upgraded by NHTSA to examine emergency vehicle collisions. Tesla shares mesmerizing 4680 battery cell assembly video. And Tesla Model Y supercharging test with 4680 cells reveals slower than expected charging curve. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. The second quarter has been challenging for Tesla. With Gigafactory Shanghai shut down for several weeks and China enacting a strict lockdown, Tesla China's sales in the country have not been optimal. But the quarter is not over yet, and Tesla China is reportedly looking to end Q2 on a high note. Data from the China Passenger Car Association CPCA suggests that Tesla had produced about 44,301 vehicles in April and May 2022. This was understandable, considering China's lockdowns, but it is notably lower than the estimated 178,887 cars that Giga Shanghai produced in the first quarter. While it may not be feasible to match Giga Shanghai's Q1 production output, an internal production memo retrieved by Reuters revealed that Tesla China is aiming to make over 71,000 vehicles this June. Together with the 44,301 units that were produced in April and March, this month's output could allow Tesla China to end the second quarter with a total of 115,300 cars produced. Tesla China, for its part, has not issued a comment about the recent reports as of this video. With the government easing COVID restrictions in Shanghai this month, the number of Teslas that could be sold in June may indeed be quite impressive. Giga Shanghai is well on its way toward ramping its weekly production as well. As per recent reports, the plant has reportedly reached 90% of its output level before the recent shutdowns. Tesla had reportedly reached a daily output of 2,600 vehicles in late May, according to the publication's sources. As per the company's recent memo, however, Tesla will be looking to produce 17,000 cars per week, starting June 13, which also happens to be the date when Giga Shanghai's closed-loop system ends. Gigafactory Shanghai is Tesla's primary vehicle export hub, with the plant supplying Model 3 sedans and Model Y crossovers to foreign territories like Europe. Last year, Tesla's China-made vehicles accounted for about half of the 936,000 cars that the company delivered worldwide. This number is poised to increase this year, despite the challenges faced by Tesla in China this quarter. Moving to the next update, Tesla Autopilot probe upgraded by NHTSA to examine emergency vehicle collisions. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration NHTSA, has upgraded their probe involving Teslas on autopilot, crashing into parked emergency vehicles. According to a notice published on the Office of Defects Investigation ODI, the agency says the probe is expanding into an engineering analysis after becoming aware of additional incidents since launching their preliminary evaluation in August 2021. That preliminary evaluation initially included 11 autopilot crashes in parked emergency vehicles since 2018. That number increased to 16 in the following months. Of those incidents, data showed that in the majority of them, Tesla's forward collision warning FCW system activated immediately prior to impact, and in approximately half of the incidents, the automatic emergency braking EB, was also activated. Additional data showed that for 11 of the collisions, drivers took no evasive action between 2 to 5 seconds prior to impact, and the vehicle reported all had their hands on the steering wheel leading up to the impact. The preliminary evaluation also looked at another 191 similar crashes, not involving parked emergency vehicles, which ultimately led to the upgrade to an engineering analysis. Although the subset of crashes is not exhaustive, the crash review identified patterns in system performance and associated driver behavior across different sets of circumstances that enable the agency to identify areas of engineering inquiry that warrant an upgrade of this preliminary evaluation to an engineering analysis, EA, the report said. 
According to the NHTSA, the analysis will evaluate additional datasets, perform vehicle evaluations, and to explore the degree to which autopilot and associated Tesla systems may exacerbate human factors or behavioral safety risks by undermining the effectiveness of the driver's supervision. The analysis will cover approximately 830,000 Model S, Model 3, Model X, and Model Y cars, built between 2014 and 2022. If enough evidence is uncovered, the NHTSA could issue a recall. Moving to the next update, Tesla shares mesmerizing 4680 battery cell assembly video. Tesla's 4680 batteries are a huge part of the company's future, with products such as the Cybertruck and the Tesla Semi, utilizing the next-generation cell. Since they were unveiled at the 2020 Battery Day, however, few specifics about the 4680 cells have been shared by the electric vehicle maker. Tesla's 4680 batteries allow the company to equip its vehicles with a structural battery pack, which is beneficial to manufacturing costs and safety. During the Cyber Rodeo, Tesla noted that its 4680 structural battery pack reduces the size of the pack manufacturing line by half, compared to previous factories. It would not be an exaggeration to state that numerous EV advocates are eagerly waiting for any updates regarding Tesla's 4680 program. This was why a recent video posted by a Tesla recruitment leader at Gigafactory Berlin on LinkedIn was welcomed so well by the EV community. The video was less than a minute long, but it showed several mesmerizing sequences of the 4680 battery's assembly process. So mesmerizing to watch. Battery cell assembly at Tesla. Also exciting to be working Tesla, where we are at the forefront of production innovation. Many gigafactories and megafactories have been announced by others, which is great, but many are yet to be built, Tobias Marman, a recruitment leader from Giga Berlin wrote. The recruitment leader made it a point to highlight that Tesla's battery production efforts are not exclusive to one country. Instead, the electric vehicle maker is pushing the boundaries of cell development and cell production in Germany, China, and the United States. This all but confirms that over time, even sites like Gigafactory Shanghai would likely have their own 4680 plants as well. It should be noted that Tesla is not the only company working on 4680 cells. The company's longtime battery partner, Panasonic, is also well into its development of the next-generation batteries. According to Panasonic Chief Financial Officer Hirokazu Yumita, Tesla has been asking Panasonic to speed up the development of its 4680 cells as well. Moving to the last update, Tesla Model Y supercharging test with 4680 cells reveals slower-than-expected charging curve. Yesterday, we reported about the first customer delivery of a Model Y with 4680 battery cells made at Giga Texas. While the electric SUV showed excellent build quality, the big question that remained was how the new battery pack performed when plugged into a supercharger. We now have the answer, as the owner of that Model Y took it on a 200-mile range test. James, the host of Spoken Reviews, arrived at the 250-kilowatt Abbott supercharger with 9% state of charge. Immediately after plugging in, the car peaked at around 206 kilowatt, a level you would expect to see increase for a battery with such a low state of charge. However, that didn't happen, and the charge rate dropped to below 200 kilowatt within seconds, never recovering above that level again during the entire charging session. The charging speed dropped to around 80 kilowatt at 50% and appeared to maintain that speed until reaching 80%. From there, the rate dropped even further to 40 kW at 90% and 15 kW at 97%, something not totally unexpected, considering charging speeds drop considerably above 80%. According to the video, here is how long it took to reach various states of charge from the original 9%. 20% in 3 minutes, 39% in 6 minutes, 50% in 12 minutes, 80% in 34 minutes, 90% in 40 minutes, and 97% in 50 minutes. What this data appears to show is that Tesla is being conservative with these new cells and throttling the charging speeds.
Once they have some more real-world data from owners, they will likely send out an over-the-air software update to unlock higher charging speeds and the full potential of the 4680 battery cells. This is not uncommon and something they did when they released the lithium iron phosphate LFP battery pack in the Model 3 rear-wheel drive version. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the Electric Arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.